Insurance loves real estate. Real estate loves insurance. Insurance. And it, you know, it just it happens that way because a lot of times we made it. We just made a video about this on Monday. How both of these are, they stand the test of time. Yeah. You know, because yeah. they they're hedged against inflation. Yeah. You know, they increase, they decrease. It's one of the those two things are the most powerful financial instruments I believe in America. But yet, for some reason, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. our schools don't teach that. Of course not. Right. Yeah. We teach we teach accumulation as opposed to cash flow. It would the schools you know? teach us go to college, get student uh, loan debt, and hopefully get a job when you get out. But you're saddled with for sure that in progress says. Yeah. You know, the borrower is enslaved, enslaved to the lender. Yes. You know, and so we're setting up our kids for that. Yeah. And by the way, I've got three older kids. Mm -hmm. I told him, listen, your dad made his millions without a college degree. And if you want to go to college, no problem. Yeah. That's how we'll pay for it. I'll pay for some of it. You got to pay for some of it too because I don't believe any yeah. free education. But by, by the way, if you're if you're watching and you're an 18-year-old kid or a 19-year-old kid or you're young, and you know, because I get that question a lot. I was yeah. like, Daniel, should I go? Because I'm a dropout. I dro I've dropped out my senior year of college. Nope. Okay. Yeah. And, and so people ask me, should I go to college? I, I tell them, here's what I would do. If you're looking to be in business, f find somebody that, that is doing what you're doing, work for free during the nighttime, audit certain college classes, like accounting, yeah. business law, yeah. you know, um, management, right? Like th there are certain, you know, classes in college that are actually, I believe are worth it, right? But you're talking about knowledge and education versus the degree. I take education knowledge any day of the week. If I were to hire somebody today and then, you know, I had two guys, one person, like, hey, I got a college degree from Harvard. Mm -hmm. And the other person says, hey, I worked four years, you know, in this you know, industry and I worked, you know, I, I worked one year in each different office and mm -hmm. I worked for a property management firm. I worked for, you know, investment mm -hmm. firm and I got experience underwriting deals and I managed properties before. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I, you know, audited accounting. Hire that kid right yeah. there on the spot. Yeah. On the spot. Right, before anybody else takes him. Yeah. You know? So that, that'd be my message to 18, 19 year old kids for, for a lot of them to ask me like, Hey, how do I break into real estate? How can I eventually do what you're doing? Yeah. You know, um, you asked me a question about what are some financial principles for, for somebody starting out in real estate? Sure. Um, There's some financial equipment, you know, what, yeah. what type of tangible, um, tangible things should they have? Yes, absolutely. So one of the biggest myths is that, you know, people say that, Oh, I need money to do real estate. Well, that's not true. I didn't have any. I didn't have any money. I had negative had dollars. For right? sure. So what I did is I raised money. And people are always like, oh, I hate raising money. I hate asking people for money. That's not the, the perspective shift for a second, yeah. right? So I'll, I'll ask you a question. Matt, do you think there's more people in the United States that have a minimum of $150,000 that they're able to invest? Or do you think that there's people who actually know what the heck they're doing in the real estate investment game? Uh, the other side. For sure. Yeah. Absolutely. So in my observation, I, I, I choose to travel a lot. I mm -hmm. still do, right? Pre, even pre-COVID, I was on like three, four flights a week traveling, to, talking about real estate. I, I came across a lot of different people. In my estimation, for every one person that actually knows what they're doing in real estate, that actually knows how to put together a business plan, build a team, hire a coach, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera, there's probably about 50, 50 to 100 people that have at least $150,000 in their account that they're able to invest. Yeah. So if I have this opportunity, mm -hmm. it's a solid deal, right? What is more valuable, the opportunity or the money? Opportunity, yeah. It's the opportunity. So, for, you know, a lot, I, have, I have a student, you know, because I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for real estate. I have a student who raised, with that mindset shift, I, I gave her the mindset shift, and I also taught her a couple of techniques that we talk about in my inner circle. And she went out, knew nothing about real estate beforehand. She raised, uh, she raised a million dollars in one week. Go, go.